Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to e-learning English with the Inspire Academy. I'm Megan. Um, we're just going to do a mini lesson today on um, the difference between to do and to make. So these two verbs in English are often confused. Um, this is mainly because in other languages um, they often are used as one verb. So for example, faire in French or machen in German, um, where other languages have one. In English, we have two verbs, so to do and to make. So it's really important to understand this difference um, and hopefully that's what you'll be able to learn with me today. So we'll just run through um, some tips on when to know which verb to use. Um, and then I'll leave some exercises on the screen at the end um, for you to, um, to test how much you've learned. Okay, so let's, I'll show you um, a quick, uh, bear with me one second. Um, some information for you on the screen, if I can find it. <laughs> um, and then, sorry, technical problems. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna have to, no, we've got it. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, this is a really important thing to um, to learn about because it's very obvious uh, to native speakers um, if you make this mistake. Um, okay, so I hope now you can see this. Um, and let's get started. Okay, so let's start with make. Um, we've got three uh, categories we can say um, for when we should use this verb to make. Okay, so the first one is when we create something. Okay, so when we make something physical, we make it, okay? Um, second, we have decisions and plans. So um, when uh, we have um, situations where um, things like decisions, plans, lists, okay, these kind of things are involved, we have to use the verb to make, so we always make a decision, we make a plan, we make a list, okay, things like this. Um, and finally, we have communication, um, so speaking, thinking, communicating, we use this verb to make um, to describe these actions. So let's look at a few examples. So for creating, um, we can make a cake. Okay, so food and drink um, always come under this creating category. We always talk about um, making food, so making a cake. Then we go on to decisions. So we make a decision, um, we make a plan, Okay, we always have to, we cannot do these things, we must make them in English. And finally, our uh, communication. Um, so we make a speech, okay, the president makes a speech. Um, okay, you make uh, a complaint as well is another example. Okay, so this communication between people. Brilliant. Let's move on to to do. Um, and again, we have three categories where we need to use this verb. So we have general actions. Okay, when it's not specific, what needs to be done, we use to do. Um, second, we have this idea of obligation. So if you must do something, um, so for example, homework, housework, things like this, um, we do them. And finally, this is slightly complicated, but we use this often to replace other verbs. Okay, so a lot of verbs or just one 
um, we often um, use do where that meaning is obvious. So the person we are talking to knows what verb we mean, but instead we use to do. We'll look at that more in a second. But firstly, for general actions, okay, so a sentence such as we need to do something about climate change, okay, do something. It's not specific, it's not clear what we need to do, but we must do something, okay, and that's what I mean by general actions, okay. Um, I want to do something with John today, okay, it's, it's general. Good. Obligation. So here, for example, we have, we do the dishes, okay, the washing up. Um, this is housework. It's an obligation. Um, so we do the dishes, but also we do homework, okay, we do the ironing, all things like this. And finally, replacing verbs. So here, our example is to do my hair. Um, so what we're replacing here is multiple verbs. So to do my hair can mean to wash, to dry, to cut, to brush, all of these different things, to style, okay? But instead, often we say to do, um, to uh, umbrella, all of these uh, verbs. And through context, we understand what is meant by to do. Okay, so a summary. To do, as we just covered, general actions, obligation, and replacing other verbs. For to make, we use this for creation, for creating things, to make decisions, and to make plans, um, and other ideas associated with this, uh, this idea of decisions, um, and then also communication and speaking. Brilliant. So that's it. If you stick to these categories, uh, there are very few exceptions. So you know, you should be able to get this right 100% of the time if you stick to these categories. So if you like this lesson, I hope you found it useful. Have a look at our website, inspireacademyonline.fr. Um, also, obviously, you can find us on Facebook, but we have YouTube and Instagram accounts, which is full of really useful resources for learning English. Um, okay, so let's have a look at some exercises. I'll leave these up um, and then some answers will come up um, about two minutes later. So good luck with these. Thank you very much for listening. Um, and I will see you for the next mini lesson. <laughs> Goodbye.